Today we're talking about the USS Barb. Commissioned in 1942, it is a Gato class diesel electric powered submarine. Serving in a total of 12 war patrols, it is credited with the sinking of 17 enemy ships. Amongst those ships was a frigate, a cruiser, and an entire aircraft carrier. And if you don't know what any of that means, they're really big ships. Big ships means a big deal. Science. Here's the thing though, that 17, that's just the actual enemy navy that it sunk. If you want to see the actual damage they did, we have to check out their battle flag. With the exception of a couple ribbons up top, every patch on this flag represents a different enemy objective that the USS Barb deleted. For example, each one of these ones represents a different enemy merchant ship. And each one of these represents seven smaller enemy merchant ships. Look, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you that the USS Barb fucked up more enemy infrastructure than Godzilla. Don't take my word for it though, even the enemy's own records indicated that the USS Barb was credited with sinking the most tonnage of their ships. TONNAGE! Do you have any idea how bad you have to be getting your ass beat to start keeping track of it by the ton? And all this happened before it got out of hand. Cue this man, Eugene Lucky Flucky. He was the commander of the USS Barb in the 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th War Patrol. What's important to understand is a commander of a submarine at this point in time was only allowed to serve in a maximum of four war patrols, because the Navy believed that any more than that they would either become too cautious or too reckless. So on the USS Barb's 11th War Patrol, which was also Flucky's fourth and presumably his last war patrol, the USS Barb and her crew under the command of Lucky Flucky decided, fuck it, we're just gonna revolutionize warfare for fun. You see, up until this point, submarines really just lied and waited for an enemy boat to sail by and then they'd sink it with a torpedo. Flucky, though, decided that on his last war patrol, he was gonna go out on the offensive. And to do this, Flucky decided that they would utilize a new strategy that he liked to call maximum harassment, which is just a fancy way of saying, hold my periscope, cause shit's about to get real. They literally started driving through the enemy. And on January 28th, 1945, they would sail the USS Barb through a shallow minefield into an enemy harbor with 30 enemy ships in it. Firing a total of eight torpedoes at the enemy ships, he would break the record for the most enemy tonnage sunk in a day. They would then turn around and escape completely unharmed. This was considered to be the most successful submarine raid of all time at this point. And if you don't know, submarining is called the silent service because because they do not talk about what they do. This was so impressive that it became headline news. For this, Flucky was awarded the Medal of Honor, which brings a perfect close to an epic career of commanding submarines, right? Nah. Lucky Flucky would then request to be able to have a fifth war patrol with the USS Barb. A request that they granted him despite their fears that he would become either too conservative or too reckless. Once they granted him this fifth patrol, he immediately requested that the USS Barb be fitted with rocket launchers. Gotta set a tone. Which Uncle Sam actually agreed to because fucking America. Making the USS Barb the first submarine to ever be equipped with rockets and to have the capability of attacking a target on land. The harassment just got more maximum. Er. So under the command of Lucky Flucky, the USS Barb would go out on its 12th and final war patrol. They would utilize their new rocket launchers to do shore bombardments, much like larger warships. They destroyed multiple enemy factories and other objectives, becoming the first submarine in history to destroy enemy objectives on land, paving the way for what is now modern day submarine warfare. Medal of Honor revolutionized submarine warfare twice. Still not enough though. Back to the battle flag. Okay, I told you each one of these patches means it sunk something, right? Did anybody notice there's a fucking train on it? July 23rd, 1945. The USS Barb and her crew decide that spawn killing supply ships as they leave the harbor was for casuals. They're gonna put a stop to this in the loading screen. They're gonna play a little game of fluck around and find out with the train before it can even drop off its cargo to the ships. But there's a catch. Getting close enough to use the rocket launchers will almost certainly get them caught. So they hatch a plan that they're going to send a small group of men ashore on a little raft. These men would then booby trap the train tracks with a 55 pound scuttling charge blowing up the train. And if you don't know, a scuttling charge is an explosive that a ship has on it in case it needs to sink itself to prevent it from falling into enemy hands. Big, very big boom. But there's a problem with that. To detonate it, they can't use a timer because the timing of the train is unpredictable. And they're not willing to leave a man behind to set it off manually. So they seek the help of the man that I can only assume is the most beautiful, slightly alcoholic, broom-fearing man on the USS Barb, the electrician. And he's able to cook up a homemade pressure switch that they can put underneath the railroad tie so when the train drives by, it'll put enough pressure that it'll detonate the scuttling charge. So the small team goes out, makes it to land, sets the charge, becoming the first and only Americans to actually officially invade the main islands of Japan during World War II. They then get back in the raft and head back to the USS Barb, and the train comes by. The men reported that the engine of that train went 200 feet in the air, marking the first and only flight test of a freight train. Thomas the train engine would then find out that gravity's a motherfucker, get bitch slapped with the planet before tumbling into the ocean. Officially giving the USS Barb bragging rights of being the only naval vessel to sink a freight train. But the best bragging right of all is the fact that under the command of Eugene Lucky Flucky, not a single sailor was killed or seriously injured under his command during his time on the USS Barb. The USS Barb would then be given to the 
Italian Navy where it served until 1972. It was then sold for scrap for a price of $100,000. Because shitty decisions. Speaking of shitty decisions, there's a bunch of other websites that are now stealing my shirt designs, but if you actually want to support me, the only place you can get my shirts is from my merch store at thefatelectrician.com or from Bunker Branding. Anyone else is just trying to steal my shit. The highly requested USS Texas design and the most requested fur musket design go live on April 1st. That is all. Quack bang out.